Now to the mid coast where towns like New Harbor, Georgetown and Booth Bay Harbor all have serious damage to homes, businesses and their fishing industries. Today, New Center Maine Sam Olson was in Harpswell where the town's emergency management director says the damage there will end up costing millions. The Harpswell community is hurting after Saturday's storm destroyed businesses like this one here on Bailey Island. The town's emergency management director says between the homes, businesses and the commercial fishing industry here, Harpswell has suffered millions of dollars in damage. The biggest loss is the, the nostalgia. The memories of what was here washed away with Saturday's tides. It felt like there was a thunderstorm going on directly underneath my feet with the waves crashing up against the bottom of the building. Zach Lehman runs the restaurant Sun Drenched on Bailey Island. He says the building is still structurally sound, but the tides destroyed the rest of the property surrounding it. This big slab on the top of the pile was the porch next to the boathouse. A boathouse pier and a seating area that once stood like this, but now is only a memory and the debris still sitting here today isn't even all of it. I was definitely very angry for about a day or so, but you know, what, what do you do? And I've been saying it since the start. I mean, it's not like you can square up to it and, and fight it off. The town's emergency management director, Mike Drake, says the damage at Sundrench is some of the worst he's seen from Saturday. Drake says across town, there's not much damage to infrastructure like roads and bridges, but says the local fishing business was decimated. People lost boats, they lost their wharfs, they've lost traps. Uh, so the commercial fishery really took a hit. A hit he estimates will cost millions. It's 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 very disheartening. You know, I, I, I feel for everyone around us. There's a, a lot of people that have their entire life and circle down here. Lehman says the tight knit community here will help him and folks like him who call Harpswell and its islands home get back on their feet. People will rebuild what needs to be what needs to be rebuilt. Um, but uh, I just I you know, we, we all feel for everybody down here and the damage that has happened. For the homes and businesses that were flooded with salt water, Mike Drake recommends you get an inspector to come check out your electrical and gas systems before you turn them back on. He says salt water can corrode the wires, which could cause a fire. On Bailey Island, Sam Olson, New Center, Maine.